So one day, I think I put it in that book. I can't remember now if I did or not. But this is what I want to share with you so that forever you can carry it. My grandma had gotten up and she came to wake me up and I'm sleeping. And she sat on the bed right next to my, right here. And all of a sudden I felt her finger, old fingers go through my hair. And she said, that means my grandson. And she's patting me on the shoulder in a crescent way. And she said, my grandson. This is what she asked me. That means, did you thank the Creator or greet the Creator today? And I said, yeah, which means no. And she says, uh, you know, that means, do you know what to say in order to give thanks to the Creator? And I said, Doka. Mohawk said, Doka. And you always got to go like this. <laughs> it goes together with Doka. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or even if you say, I don't know in English, you say that Doka. Same thing. At least that's what we did. And so she says, Doka di na. Ungolihunyo. Let me teach you, let me tell you how it is you're supposed to talk. And she says, and she's talking all Moha, because grandma couldn't talk no English at all. And she says, you know the sun is like a rays of the sun. Like you can see, you hadinyo, you hadinyo. It's like a path coming from the, she's talking about the rays of the sun. Especially when it's dusty, you can see that. Almost like you can walk on it. Especially early in the morning or sometime late at night. And she says, and the light of the sun, the rays of the sun or the dawn of the sun, is the same thing as our Creator's fingers and hands and arms. Here on this bed you are laying and you are sleeping. And the Sangwaya Dishon, our Creator, already come in the window because the light of the sun is his finger, hand, and arms. The Creator has held you and holds you your whole body because the light of the sun go around my head in the bed, around my chest, legs, and feet. The whole, from the whole body was holding me, surrounded by the sun. And if the light of the sun is the fingers and hands and arms of the Creator, that means And He not only did it to you as you laid in the bed, He did it to me too did it to grandpa and to your mother and to everybody in the world. Did it to the horses in the barn and the cows in the barn and the dogs. Even to every tree, the creator hugged every tree, even the little tree. Everything that lives, the creator make us all hug. Not just humans, but all our life. God did not shall it. So she said, so what are you going to do about it? I said, Doka. <laughs> oh, she says, let me tell you. And here's what she said to me. You say, Nyawe Dakya Dison. Ne wat kuno wala don't. That's all. That's sufficient. You don't have to talk one hour. Just that is good enough. Translate it. Nyawe means thank you. Dakya Dison means you who made me. In other words, directly you're talking now personally to the Creator. Ne Dakya Dison, you who made me. Ne, 
Well, ne. Everybody says ne. Our Iroquois loves to say ne. Seneca, Moha, Gunai, everybody, ne. Because that's a connector word. It's the equivalent of and, but also in English. So we like to say all the time, ne, ne. Yeah, ne ti. <laughs> and also. Wat gunu waladon is a powerful word. More than you know, unless you know. Because if I go like this to you, because I did that to her, I means what kenu waladon. So if I say what kenu waladon, that's what we did. I acknowledge her. But it doesn't just mean that only. If you give me something, a beautiful moccasin or a beautiful Pendleton blanket or something that's really from your heart, because you gave it to me, you, that means because I gave him that gift. And then when I say go. That means I give it back. Because you give me that gift. So it means to say, to greet. It means also to give and to say thank you. And then the last one that it means is, listen, what comes from the root word gonu. Lungkwa. Can you hear it? Gonu lungkwa. Gadana wala don. It's the word, same root word. But that word comes from, and even guna uh, lungkwa is not really the root word. It's a secondary root word. The real root word is zanu uh, wale. Is your brains. The root word is shanu, is your brains, your thought, your brain. So it means the secondary is love. Because real one is, is your mind. It's not a fluke. It's not an accident. It came from my inner being called mind, my brains. It wasn't just by mistake. It was intentional. That's where my love comes from and my intent. And so when you say, you're saying three or four English concepts. It, it doesn't have the in depth, three dimensional spiritual that us Indians have, whether it's Oneida, Seneca, or Mohawk. And so what you're saying, thank you, Nyawe. Thank you, the God, this is you who made me. I send you my greetings, my thank you, and my love. And that's why a while ago when I translated the Thanksgiving, I'm not just saying greetings. Remember, I'm saying greetings, thank you, and kindness, and love, and compassion. That's why I'm saying that, because that's the more truthful. It doesn't just mean to say greetings. That's only one part of it. And so, that's what grandma said since I was three years old. She says every morning, you don't even get out of bed. Only your eyes open up from the bed. You don't get up, you don't stress yourself. As soon as your eyelids open and you see the light coming through the window, you know that the Creator has hugged you, your entire body. And so you say, thank you, you who made me. I give you my love, greetings, and compassion every morning. That's how you begin your day, before you even put your foot on the floor where your bed stands.